All right, so this is where I left off. Now, there is a few things I want to leave to the student. Uh, basically, you know, I've shown you how to make a pretty complex form. Keep all the bevels and everything else. Also, if you've gone through my training series all the way up to Unit 8 now, you should have the ability to produce some pretty complex forms, no doubt about it. Just you're not used to orthographics yet. So, the other thing I should kind of mention is what gets joined and what doesn't get joined. All right, so here in the model, I have this engine. I have this kind of pylon thing. I'm just going to call it a pylon from a StarCraft reference. And it could be like an energy beam shooter or whatever. They... So, of course, some Star Wars nerd is just passed out by now because he's probably got the technical name for this and he's going to put it in my YouTube channel. Don't do that. I don't care. Okay, here's the wing. What needs to be a solid chunk and what doesn't? Well, from a modeling standpoint, uh, the wing itself, actually, if you look in the front view, these things go up and down. Uh, if I remember from the movie... Uh, they're straight across, and then, you know, when they really want to go fast, they take and they rotate them up, and it allows them to jettison forward faster, okay? Spreading the thrust around, probably. So, that means I technically only have three things I have to model now. This little area right here, this little engine, this little pylon thing, and the wing. That's it. If you really want to get accurate, I guess you can uh, create an R2-D2 unit and put it in here also. Again, you would, what, put a hole in that area and put R2-D2 down into it. So the wing and the engine gets joined together, the wing and the pylon gets joined together, and then you would take and duplicate the wing over and over again. So you would duplicate it and flip it. Take those, duplicate it, and mirror them over to the other side, and then you have all four wings just by modeling these three pieces. So that means what I'm going to do is make you model these three pieces, this one, this one, and this one, and I'm also going to make you mirror them in the several directions because if you followed all the way, the units all the way up to unit eight, you should have that knowledge. Now, if you're doing the when you're doing the engine, what I would concentrate on is using the top view. So maybe just being the nice guy that I am, I'm going to take this this cube. Notice that it gets affected by my little toggle. That's good. Okay, remember, it's all about forms. What is this form? It's a cylinder. So you should start out by making a cylinder. Control E. Control E. Whoops. Right click. Now, I need that form separate. So. Notice these two share the same components. L to highlight this one, go mesh, vertices, separate by selection. If you made it in object mode, you wouldn't have to do that, but since I accidentally made it in edit mode, I had to do that. So now I have two separate objects not sharing their components. This one, I want to put that transform back into the origin of the geometry and add a modifier to it. Subdivide once and apply it. Okay. If it shared the components, what this modifier and this modifier would have this would have doubled again. I don't want that. So 
All right, so if I'm in the top view, I can start, what, shaping this into the overall form. And I'll do, just do a couple of extrudes just to kind of show you how it works. This is how I like to do it. I'll turn this off right here so I can't see through the model. And I'll highlight these faces here. And I go back into 7. And this is how I do it. Control E, right click, W. Make sure you move modifiers on, and I can move that. Okay, Control E, right click, R. I'm going to scale that in just a little bit. Again, go back in to the top view. Control E, move it. Get it? All right. Let's, let me do it again. Control E, right click, R, scale it in just a skosh. Top view, Control E, W, move it. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Control E. And there we go. I have that part of the model. And look at that. You could just do that all the way through. That's all the workflow is, is uh, me moving it, scaling it, moving it, scaling it, moving it, scaling it, extruding it, moving it. Perfect. Except for me grabbing it by accident there. Uh, now, how much do you need to do like the last form last form was kind of complex and the fact that i had to really work at making those form changes so they're beveled i had a bevel situation here do i have a bevel situation here i do not okay so technically i don't have to go through that that same workflow process to make beveled edges does this look a little hexagony yeah it does um so you could let me just illustrate that so if I set some edges in here, just like that, and then I added that modifier, that smooth modifier, notice these maintain a hard edge and these taper off. So that's how you would handle that situation if you wanted to make really nice form changes. So that's your assignment. Your assignment is to model this, this, and the wing. And I want you to mirror it. And after you mirror it, I would then rotate it. I would model it flat. So this wing will go this way, this thing will lay on top of it, this thing will lay on top of it. And then when you get everything joined together and mirrored, then I would probably rotate it. I'll leave it up to your discretion upon when to rotate and when not to rotate. Okay. All right. Enjoy the assignment, the X-Wing. Hope to see it soon. All right. When you're done, move on to the next unit. Enjoy.